hey guys it's Nelly welcome back to my channel holy moly it's been such a long time that I don't upload any video I don't want to drag out this intro too long so if you check the description box of this video I'm gonna leave you guys with like a little update of where I have been and all that good stuff in the description so go ahead and check it out if you're interested if you don't really care then that's fine I can totally relate and that's okay <laughs> so I'm also a little bit sick so I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little nasally manly sickly <laughs> I am I have been sick for a little while already and it does not shake off like I am just like taking everything doing everything and I'm still really sick I have my wig on again today because I love it so much and we're just gonna go ahead and get started this video is going to be mostly focused on the eyes because my gorgeous talented friend Gabby created her own cosmetics line and this is her first product and it's called Alamar Cosmetics I am so excited for her, so happy, so proud. She's Cuban just like I am. This is what the palette looks like on the inside and it's such a beautiful palette. It's so refreshing because it's not like anything. It's not like everything we are currently seeing where it's tons of neutrals and browns. She did her thing with this palette. She has pops of colors, she has neutral shades and I freaking love it I'm obsessed and she created everything on her own you guys the design the colors this palette is very special to me not only because I know the creator of the palette and she's such an amazing freaking amazing human but um, because of how close to home this palette hits you are Cuban you are going to be able to relate to every single name in this eyeshadow palette, the design of the palette itself, it's very tropo, tro tropical, <laughs> it's very tropical, it's very loud. It completely resembles the Cuban culture because we are very loud and extravagant and I freaking love it. It's just so refreshing to see a little piece of my culture into a palette. So I'm so happy that Gabby did this and went this route with this palette because it's relatable and it's freaking gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette today on my eyes so that you can go ahead and get a feel for the shadows and I'm so proud of her and this palette launches today so by the time that you guys are watching this video this palette is out for sale and we're just gonna go ahead and play with it so I am going to start off by taking the shade Coco Daxi which is this shade right here and I am going to apply this in my crease Ooh, look at that pigment it is so pigmented so I am going to apply this in my crease from inner corner to outer corner and I'm really going to smoke that in there because I'm going for a super blown out smoky eye look at that pigment and the shadows blend so easy so I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush which by the way um, this is a super old Chanel brush Chanel number 12 I got this years ago so yeah I freaking love this brush I'm gonna go ahead and take Tropico which is this really pretty shade right here it's kind of like a burnt orange shade so I am going to take that and I am going to place this in my crease but I'm going to keep the color a little bit lower and look at how much pigment that is you can see the eyeshadows do have a little bit of kickback but it's nothing crazy like it stays in the pan and you always do want a little bit of kickback because it's going to tell you that the shadow is really nice and pigmented but i love this because it's not a crazy amount it's just enough and when you put it in the brush look how much product you get in your brush so i'm actually going to tap this off because i don't want it to be too pigmented at first and i'm going to work this in my crease but i'm going to keep this a little bit lower in the crease uh how pigmented is that wow really pretty it's so crazy like that's it i'm done blending like they blend in so easily that i am super impressed with how easy these eyeshadows blend I'm gonna go in now with Cafecito, which is a dark brown shade. And I am taking it with a Sigma E25. It's a little bit more of a denser brush. 
It's not Lawrence. Let me close my door. So I'm going to take a cafecito and I am going to place it right here in the outer corner. What is that? So I am first stamping that color on there. And then once I have the color nice and concentrated, I'm going to turn my brush to the side and just kind of blend the edges upwards just a little bit. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of Tropico. And I'm just going to blend out those edges just a little bit. So I want it to be nice and diffused. I go in with a little bit more of Cafecito and just kind of re-intensify it because I want it to be nice and dark. I'm going to take a little bit more of Coco Taxi and I am just going to blend this on top just so that everything, again, it's nice and blended and seamless. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I am just going to wipe off this fallout that we have right here. I'm going to clean that up, make it nice and sharp like so. Love it. Now you can go back in and blend any areas that you feel like need just a little bit more blending. Alrighty, so moving on to what I am most excited about for this palette, which is the Shimmer Shades. I recently just did a blue-green smoky eye, so I'm going to be skipping the blue for today, but I'm going to be using both of these shades. So I'm going to start off with La Costa, which is the first pinky shade. And I'm taking this using a MAC 242. I am going to start applying this in the inner corner. And this is the brush not wet. This is the brush with the color straight from the pan. And it's pretty pigmented. So I do really like the pigmentation, but I wanted it to be really nice and wet looking. So I am going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and apply boom okay, that to get to another level so i am going to work this in the inner corner like so like that this is such a pretty shade i'm curious to see how this will look as a face highlight because this is really pretty i'll probably try it today So I am going to apply that in the inner part of my lid, like so, so it's to the other side. So now I'm going to wipe off the brush and I'm going to go in to my favorite shade from the palette, which is El Malecon. And I am going to take this, oh, my voice sounds so annoying, oh. I am going to place this right here. What? Did you see that pigment? And I am going to place this right here where they kind of meet. But I am not going to take this shade as high as I took the first shade. I'm going to keep it nice and low. Because I kind of want it to look kind of like a halo effect. So I am going to place this right in here. Oh my god, the pigment of this eyeshadow. I, I can't. Like, I can't. Wow. So pretty. In the palette, this shade does look nice and kind of like a bronzy shade, but it's not bronzy at all. It has like a really nice gray, greenish undertone, which I really, really like because I don't think I own anything like this. So I am excited for that. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more of Cafecito just to kind of blend out these edges here so I'm taking the brush with a little bit of product and I am just going to mix it in the middle just to kind of make sure that those edges kind of blend together yes girl Ooh, I feel it it's so freaking pretty okay ah! I'm excited so now I am going to go ahead and take I'm gonna take a flat brush with cafecito again and I'm just going to work this right here and so I'm just gonna work this right in here and kind of blend it out kind of smudge it out um, in my lash line I'm gonna really quickly do my face and then we'll be back to finish off the eyes 
Alrighty, so I went ahead and I finished my face off camera because I do the routine in every single video. And I also got a little carried away and I actually finished my eyes and that was not done on purpose. I got carried away and I completely forgot what I was doing. Blame it on being sick. So the only thing that I did in my lower lash line was I got a little bit of Tropico. I mixed it in with a little bit of cafecito and I smoked that out in my lower lash line. And then I added just a hint of Guantanamera, which is a nice kind of reddish shade. I added very little of this because this is super duper pigmented. And then I aligned my waterline with some black eyeliner. And that was everything that I did for my lower lashes. I tried a new foundation today and I am not a fan. It's making me look kind of dry. I'm also really sick and when I get sick, I get super dehydrated more than I already am. So don't mind the skin in this video. And I also rushed through it a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie because I wanted to take some pictures out in the sun and it is currently 8.01. So I was like trying to rush doing my face just so that I can get some nice pictures in the sunlight. But anyways, this is the finished eye look. I love how pigmented the eyeshadows are. I love how easy they are to work with, to blend. They're super pigmented, super creamy, and definitely this is a really nice beginner friendly palette definitely my standout shade is Malecon which is this one right here love that shade it's the shade that I have on the middle of my lid because it's not a silver but it's not a green and then it's not a gold or a bronze it's a really pretty it's a different shade it's not something that I own I don't think I own anything like the shade, so I really like that. So you get eight eyeshadows, and the palette is going to retail for $28, which is a steal for, trust me, you guys, this is a steal for how good these eyeshadows work. I'm freaking obsessed. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below where you can purchase the palette. Go support Gabby. Show her some love. She worked really hard on this, and it shows an amazing palette it's beautiful i'm obsessed so yeah it's going to do it for today's video you guys i'm sorry if my energy was a little bit low in this video but i'm sick i have a blister in my tongue so i can't properly talk but i just could not wait any longer to post a video so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the notification bell to get an update sent to your phone whenever I upload a new video. So I love you. Thank you for sticking with me through my absence. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Mwah.